In this episode, we're going to review the portfolio of Chris, a very talented web designer based in the UK, for your inspiration. Hello, I'm your host Casino from Casino.com, and this is yet another episode of our series where we review web designer portfolios. So today we'll take a look at Chris' portfolio from the UK, and just to give you a little reminder about this series, this is not really about do you like or don't you like what he creates. That's totally subjective. But the idea is more if you were a potential employer or a potential client, what would be your first impression when you land on the website and what would be your last impression before you quit the website? In other words, would you do business with that web design professional? So with that in mind, let's get started. Okay, so this week we're going to review the portfolio of Chris from The Lonely Pixel. So Chris is a creative freelance web designer and developer. And he says, I'm Chris, an award-winning freelance web designer and developer that has spent the last eight years pushing the boundaries of digital design. And you can click on estimate the project or view capabilities. Now, right out of the bat, this screams creativity. I really love that background. And I dig that kind of effect using the parallax, really simple, but the whole thing, the artwork is beautiful. I don't know if he did it, but even if he did not do it himself, uh, just finding those elements and blending everything together, um, yeah, it's, it's really, really good. Now, what I like also is that from the first page, you can decide as a client, do you want to estimate the project or view the capabilities? Now, at least you have the choice. I might not have put estimate the project because I might feel that if the first question that someone would ask is uh, how much I cost, then I would feel like maybe I'm a commodity, but maybe that, that's just me. Um, and once again, it depends on the strategy you have. Is it a strategy of volume or not? But at least you get the choice and I think it's really good. And the next thing is that you can view uh, his skills. So um, he says he's a full, uh, freelance web designer that provides creative web design for clients and agencies in and around London, Hertfordshire, and the rest of the UK. So this is really good because from the first uh, moments, you know if this is for you or not. If you're in Italy and you want to work with someone locally, you're not going to waste some time or you're in Australia or whatever, you get the idea. Uh, also, he uh, specifically said where his preferred areas are. So it's around London and some other place I can pronounce this. Hertfordshire. Um, so this is also good because once again, you don't want your potential clients to waste some time and you don't want to waste some time either as a professional. And then he goes on to saying uh, who he wants to work with. So... Of course, uh, regular clients, agencies, uh, and he's worked with clients of all shapes and sizes from startups and SMEs to large multinational corporations. So th once again, that's really good because if you know you're a big company, you want to know someone that has the shoulders to work in that kind of project, you know it from the get-go. And on the other hand, if you're a small business and you know you're afraid you're going to pay <laughs> millions to get the job done, well, at least... Uh, he's, he says that he's working with clients of all shapes and sizes. Okay, so if you just if you don't read, you scan the page, you see 10 years of experience, you see awards, so that's quite good. Also, uh, you get a, an easy way to phone him, so it's the phone number, and when you click on it, it actually triggers a phone. So if you're, I mean, a, a phone call. If you're on your phone, if you're on the desktop, it's going to ask you either to uh, trigger the... Um, the call on your phone if your phone is linked to your computer or if you're on FaceTime, you might also dial it from there. The next good thing is that the email address is with his own domain, so it looks professional. I have nothing against the other types of emails that you get for free, but most of the time it doesn't look professional when it's on your website. Then you get uh, access to um, the last three elements of his portfolio. And then here you see a picture, it's kind of faded. I think it's the only picture we get of Chris on the website. So various element that helps him rank. Uh, and I, th I think that's actually how I found him. So SEO wise, it must, be, it must be quite good too. The other good thing is that button here where you can also, same thing, you can actually click it 
it's going to take you straight to your phone or to any service you use to dial in phone numbers okay so let's take a look at uh, some elements on this website but first of all i really dig the color scheme um the logo is clean also maybe a little bit hard to understand if you don't know it's tlp for the lonely pixel then you might not know it may look like it says up you know when i read it it looks like it says up but of course because i know it's the lonely pixel i read tlp so let's take a look at chris's work but first of all let's find out who he is so that's the about page it says work to become not to acquire uh, our story starts with a single pixel i'm chris an award-winning web designer that's been providing awesome websites for clients since uh, 2013 so i'm not going to read all of that but I, i'm just scanning as a client would uh can for clients beautiful help your business grow so this is key that's what most people are in for so he likes to work in a very collaborative and open way he will always have a say uh in what's going on so basically he's reassuring the potential clients in my spare time i'm often found exploring the wilderness with my trusty camera or in the dark room playing on my super nintendo so basically that's the human element because you want to connect with your potential clients they're not just buying a commodity they also need to connect with you otherwise they could pick one of the million others uh, web designers so the human elements is good too so who i work with startups companies and agencies this is really really good because like i said from the get-go you know if this is someone you could work with or not okay next the services page is also a page that most clients will take will take a look at so it starts by good design is harness offer a range of creative digital services including freelance web design so like i said capabilities i would have called that skills um but um it works also with capabilities so we have web design web development e-commerce website maintenance html email marketing and graphic design so chris is an hybrid uh, a bit like i am so i do web design and web development i consider myself a hybrid um a design opera as you call it uh and it's good that it mentions it because at least you know if this is someone you want to work with does he have what it takes for the kind of projects project that you want so even though he says he plays with his camera he's not listing photography and videography and all of that here and this is something key because you want to be known for something you don't want to be like uh, someone that does everything, the jack of all trades. You want to focus on the things you're good at and that you can sell professionally. Another page uh, clients will want to look at is the contact page. And this one is really clean, really simple. Uh, um, it says, let's work together. Don't want to wait, email me or call me. And once again, those are uh, links. So when you click on email me, it's going to open the mail client with the mail address already inserted and call me is going to open uh, it's going to dial in the the number then this is the form and it's quite original uh who are you so you can just click on the uh, item project scope so web design web development and let's say you want an e-commerce website so so it's kind of playful and that makes it fresh if you compare it to uh, the regular web design agencies where it's really serious and they say they're creative but they're not really creative uh, outside of words and here he's creative with actually with his work so um, this interaction is quite nice then you have the form really simple and you can send it okay so next let's take a look at the work uh, you can actually load more here so you have more elements but we're just going to take a look at the the last three which are the best ones in my opinion well when i say last three the first three actually but i suppose they're the last ones so the first one is pizza sqr so right out of the bat i like how he presents it so you have a big hero section the name so it makes it really clear then you have the brief and the approach and that's good also because sometimes you're going to show something in your portfolio and sometimes it looks beautiful sometimes it doesn't look that beautiful but if you don't know what was behind the scene what was the brief what was actually asked and what what you actually did on that website then it's it can be kind of misleading so here we have the brief i'm not going to read all of it uh what he did is um the i suppose he, he installed the cms uh he did the web design and web development 
So the approach, I wanted to give the site the feel of an authentic Italian pizzeria. So I use browns and creams along with clever font choices to blend traditional and modern design concepts together. Big mouth watering imagery appears throughout the site and a slight parallax effect is used to give a sense of movement. I really love the fact that he's explaining what's the idea behind the design because he put things into perspectives. And then he uh, went on to put some screenshots because as you may know, when you deliver a website, it's going to be beautiful, but when you hand it over, you never know what happens. Sometimes it stays beautiful, sometimes not. But then we also have a link to the um, actual website. And this looks so clean. I really like that. So let me scroll. I mean, this screams creativity, minimalism. This is just beautiful design. It's just purely, simply beautiful design. Would be pretty easy to um, do with elements or when I say pretty easy, I'm not saying the design was easy. I'm saying technically uh, you could do that with any theme builder, but the design itself uh, would take some time because it looks really simple, but the most simple things usually take time. So really, really beautiful design. And if we take a quick look at the mobile version, it looks just as gorgeous. Like I said, very simple, uh, with nice trends, but well implemented, not trends for trends. Navigation is beautiful, just like the rest of the website. Let's take a look at the menu, which is one of the most important things on a pizza uh, website. And here you can select, so let's click on pizza. Okay, then we have our menu here. So a beautiful website. Next, we have Silver Crow. So Silver Crow are a family-run property developer from South London. What he did, CMS Web Design Web Development. The approach. I wanted the site to feel as upmarket as possible. I use white and negative space to give the impression of a gallery. With elegant typography and the client's amazing photography, we created a layout that really nailed the brief. The entire site is animated using Animation Library, which gave me more control over the finer interactions on the site. This really finished off the project nicely and made the whole thing feel complete. Once again, we have the screenshots here and it just looks really, really beautiful, really um, high end website. So let's take a look at the actual website. So this is the Silver Crow website. And as you could imagine, this is just beautiful from the font to the negative space to everything. I mean, this is beautiful. And it's asymmetrical design, but yet it's so well implemented. And why am I saying that? It's because I also do this series where I review uh, the websites of the week. And most of the time, I always ramble about asymmetrical design, which I'm not a fan of. But sometimes it's well, well implemented. And I really, really dig that design. I think it's really beautiful. So let's click on projects. Okay, we get that little um, page transition. And once again, the design language is just consistent, beautiful. Okay, this is one of the project with the animations he talked about in the description of the project. Also love the, um, the arrows here, line icons. That was a bit misleading here because I thought I could click on the contact us and on other projects. But actually, it's just uh, referencing the um, section that are on the right hand side. But still, design wise, I really, I really dig that. Now, let's take a look at the mobile version. Nice um, navigation. I wish it was all the same color, all in white, for example, but that's just personal taste. Here we have a, a white background on top, and then we have the light gray background like the Lodi animation on the navigation. And for the rest, I think the thumbnails are a bit small here. Um, I know it's um, fueled by asymmetrical design, but I would have made the thumbnails bigger on the mobile version. But for the rest, very clean. And I still dig that. So let me open one of the projects. Nice animation and still beautiful. And last but not least, we have the Vaxtution uh, website. So the approach, after a productive initial meeting, I got to work with the initial concepts. 
Uh, the site makes use of bold color. This was one of the most fun projects and so on. Like I said, it's just like one of the clients that would browse the website. I don't think they would read everything, but they would just scan through most of the time looking for keywords and then they would proceed on checking the website. So this is the website. And I think the design language is really consistent with a um, website for kids from the colors to the, the, the border radius on the buttons. Everything is rounded, colorful, it's bold. I think it works really well. You know, the, the thing is, even though I love minimal design and high-end website, you cannot do that type of design for each and every website. Here, it works really well. It looks like a high-end website, but that matches the, um, the industry that they're trying to target. So here is online tutoring and uh, for children, age four, four to 16 years old, although 16 years old will be more like a teenager, but you get the idea. I think it works really fine. I, got, I like the blobs here, the colors, the font. Um, most of his website, the font is beautiful. So font works well. I mean, the, the font pairs also, the selection of the font itself. Even when you're using Google font, don't just take the first Google font that you find. Try to look for really uh, nice ones, fonts that actually work together. And now let's take a look at the mobile version. So it says private tuition centers based in Hertfordshire, London and Essex. So beautiful navigation. But, but as you can see, the first element in the nav is hidden by the logo. So that's quite easy to fix, but probably something they forgot. And bear in mind, I'm watching this on a simulation uh, of an iPhone 5. So let me go back to an iPhone 6, a bit bigger. So it's better. And then on an iPhone 6 Plus, then we have no issue. So it's always good to always check for other sizes, but uh, I'm also guilty of that many times. So, so many things to think about when you release a website, but simple, colorful, playful, but it works really well for the industry and the subject. Question of the day. What was your favorite part about Chris's work? Let me know in the comments. In my case, it was the second website I reviewed. I really love the minimal design and the typography. And basically, I like his own website because it's really clear. But let me know what you think. So I hope that this video inspired you and that it's going to help you to craft the perfect portfolio website for your business or for your career. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like it as it really, really helps growing the channel. And if you want more inspiration videos where I show portfolios of other web designers and much, much more, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Oh, and by the way, if you want a killer brand identity, I created the brand identity guidelines template that you can download on my website for free. Initially, it was created for Affinity Designer, but you can use it with Adobe Illustrator with a workaround. So if you're interested, just go to casino.com forward slash branding. So that's it for this episode. Make sure you don't miss the next one. And in the meantime, don't forget to invest in your success.